Yo, welcome back to another video, man. This is episode two of season seven, Game of Zones, man. Now I know we all missing basketball, man. The Last Dance has barely got us holding on, man. But uh, the Last Dance episodes don't last forever, man. So I'm glad we got some Game of Zones. They said this is the last season. It completely sucks, man. That sucks that it's the last season. Anyways, man, let's let's get into this video, man. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, man. This is where we. Where we just try to have a good time and chill, man. Ain't nothing too serious over here, man. Despite despite what the comments say, ain't nothing too serious, man. Let's make sure we hit that like, uh, subscribe button, bro. Let's watch this. Hello, old friend. Ah, oh, so Dwayne, welcome to the media now. You'll be reporting on an injury. Looks like the horse will be out indefinitely. I've seen oh. that mark before. Yes, Mark Stein, it's bro. Checking. No, since the horse injury. I feel like. Seems like forever. We don't hear from Mark Stein no more since he like changed jobs. I don't know where he works now, but dang, used to see him on ESPN all the time. Three, my birds from Toronto have become useless. They're just repeating the same things over and over. Well, whatever it is, seems to have spread. Dwayne, we've got to get to Crane City. Giannis, come quick! What? We're being attacked. Song. That's dope how they did that. Welcome everyone to a very special edition of Inside the Realm. <laughs> Dearest Maesters of the Media Dell, I now present the audition of Sir Dwayne Wade for consideration. Hold on, hold on, bro. They got my boy Stephen A. and Bill Simmons in their mesh house. Bill Simmons. Welcome everyone bro. to a very special edition of Inside the Realm. Dearest Maesters of the Media... Bro, look at my man Bill Simmons and Steven A, man. That's the heart of the NBA right there, bro. Media side, bro. Crazy. I now present... I don't know who that is. I know that's Zach Lowe. I don't know who... I don't know who that is. Is that Ronnie 2K? <laughs> I don't know who that is. The audition of Sir Dwayne Wade for consideration of press credentials. Today, Candace Sir Parker. Dwayne will be reporting on the horse's injury. Dwayne, how will this affect House Raptors? It's bad. It's it's very bad. Um, it's a shame. He was their glue guy. <laughs> no more than ever. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done. Oh. I get it. The horse. The horse is Kawhi, right? No? Because Kawhi was there and then he left. Right? Wait. The reason it's bad is because Sir Jordan and the entire Dream Team are back. And they're going to just Jackie McMullen and Reggie Miller. Is that Shay Serrano? They got Shay Serrano up there. I still don't know who that why don't I don't know who that is. I don't know. Jalen Rose, lefty number five. Shout out Jalen Rose. Royal Realm, one house at a time. What are you doing? Just wrap it up. Listen, no Jordan slander here. Doris Burke, Woj, Matt Barnes. Is that China Fry? But he's too old. Father Time is undefeated, I. Eh? Must be real. The only return Chuck's making is to the buffet table. <laughs> yes, but that's the thing. They're all back in their primes. This is demonstrably what? preposterous. How could that possibly be conceivable? The Soul Box. <laughs> oh, hooey. My report didn't show that the Soul Box was smashed in Bostonia. Yeah, that was a top 19 moment in Bostonia basketball history, and therefore basketball history. <laughs> That's exactly like Bill Simmons, man. That's funny. That's my guy. Soul box power is not in the box. It's in the shards. That was just a normal fart. True. No, the shards. The fragments of the shattered soul box. They're made from the wood of Thou Maker's original peach baskets. Hickory, Georgian, hardwood. Oh, there's the spurs right there. Hold on. Let me go back. Who is this? Is this when they finally let black people play? No, there's some white folks over there. Cream Old City. Peach baskets. Hickory. Georgian hardwood. HGA. Oh, the Van Gundys. 
Oh, Jordan must have gotten the shards in the Terry Rosia trade. That's why he paid so much. Oh, hooey, Brian. I call shenanigans. Where's your proof? Mama, there goes that man. <laughs> Horse. How's this for evidence? <laughs> Who is that? That's Wally Zerbiak. No, it can't be. Why not? Because I'm Wally Zerbiak. I think that's Tom Googliotta. No, I'm Tom Googliotta. No, you're not. Shout out my cousin Jody, man. His favorite player used to be Tom Googliotta for a while. When we was kids, though. That's when we was kids. You're Bobby Sora. Oh, right, yeah. It's Christian Leitner. Bang! Oh, right. oh. They so you're telling Leitner. me the Dream Team is back? I mean, I don't see the problem. This is a story of the century. Yes, but it would be the last story. Sir Jordan seeks to permanently end the debate, to prove he is the goat of goats. He's coming for me. No, Paul. <laughs> <Please. laughs> <laughs> Bro. This is stupid. <laughs> to permanently end the debate. To prove he is the goat of goats. He's coming for me. Bro, he said that with a straight face, bro. I'm crying. <laughs> oh, shoot. Popper's my guy, man. He brought the Celtics a championship, bro. But you don't, bro. <laughs> he's coming for me. <laughs> no, he's not. Oh, wow. I don't even know why that's so funny, bro. That's so no, funny. Truth. truth. If anyone is coming for LeBron. Hey, that's my bit. The people of every city he conquers are turned into mindless. He must have beat you up earlier. Jet, he beat you to the board. Nostalgics with no passion for the modern game. Toronto. I did see Scalabrini and uh, the Red Mamba and uh, Rachel Nichols in there. I did see them. He's already gone. What? As is Milwaukee. Wait, oh, the best down? house in the realm. Also Detroit and Chicago. Uh, well, that's that's not okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. pretty solid. No, he's not. We need to form a f***ing wall. It's no use. There's not a house in this realm that could beat the dream team. You're right. That's why we've got to build one. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, Dell, we're going to need your all realm ballots a little early this year. Oh, this is getting good. This is getting good, man. I'm getting excited, man. I'm getting excited. So they about to build a team to face the dream team. Ooh, I like this. Pick and roll in. Thank you, everyone, for being here at this emergency realm all hands. Look at Javel. <laughs> Look at my man, Rondo. By now, you should all be familiar with the threat facing our realm. So, without further ado, I will announce... Bro, look at the logo that they got to, to, to be like the NBA logo, bro. That's so, I love the detail, bro. That's so funny. Members of the Super Super House, hereby known as the Knights of the Round Ball, as selected by the Maesters of the Media Dell. I'm so hyped that they got Bill Simmons in here. Look at Kit. Look at Park, man. You bloody serious. Uh, the Media Dell. Of course, the blog boys pick. It's president... <laughs> Yo, if you know about the Vlog Boys, comment down below, man. You know about the Vlog Boys? If you know about the Vlog Boys, comment down below, bro. That's hilarious, bro. Of the Knights Guild, I think this decision should be made by us. The Knights of the Realm. Yeah. I don't know if that's a wise idea. This is not the time of yore. This is the era of Knight Empowerment. Let us vote, or we shan't fight your battles. Yeah. Okay, fine. But please, take this seriously. Okay, that's another vote for Jamal Crawford. <laughs> she us with another vote for Mella. <laughs> bro, that's so funny, bro. NBA Twitter be going crazy for certain players. And it be like, yeah, those players are great. Those players are good. Those players are, you know what I'm saying, had great moments or whatever. But, like, let's be real. Like, how come it's like a player ain't in the league? Everybody go to bat for him, but there isn't there a reason that that player ain't in the league? You know what I'm saying? Like, that that don't make no sense to me. Like, I know people be getting blackballed and stuff, but like, Jamal Crawford should Jamal Crawford be in the league? Does he got the skill to be in the league? Yeah, maybe ain't nobody see that you know for their team. That's not what they trying to do. I don't know what he want from me. Like, if I if I if I had a team, if I was a GM. Yeah, I would ask Jamal Crawford on my team. You crazy? It's crazy cold. It's crazy cold. 
can help the young players. He can get buckets. He dropped 50 in his last game, last season, like, of course. But at the same time, you got to think about, I don't know, these these GMs ain't all there sometimes. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know how to defend them. I'm not even trying to defend them. I'm just saying, like, it's funny how NBA Twitter go to bat for certain guys like crazy. But I don't know. Like, how come Melo didn't end up on the Lakers? Everybody talking about he need to be on the team. He need to be in the league. I mean, LeBron right there. They ain't really got no players because they traded him off for AD. Like, they couldn't sign. Le- they couldn't sign Melo, bro. They could sign Jerry Dudley, but they couldn't sign Melo. <sighs> That's tough, bro. Who did they say? Let me go back because I, uh, I can't remember who they said. Take this seriously. To go, this is to go up against the dream team in their prime. The dream team in their prime. Another vote for Jamal Crawford. <laughs> Jesus, shut us with another vote for Melo. Another vote for Vince Carter. <laughs> bro, don't diss my man Vince like that, bro. Prime Vince was a killer, bro. He was a beast, bro. He was 42. Cool. Uh, actually, I'm 43 now. Oh, look, all three Plumleys. And Jamal Crawford again. Look, if you're not going to take this seriously... I took it seriously. <sighs> You voted for Allen Iverson. He cannot even play anymore. How are you going to disrespect Iverson like that? One of you even voted for Michael Jordan. Hey, Sir Jordan was unstoppable in his prime. Hey, yes, yeah. we know. That's the whole point. Bro, there's, I don't know, like, there's different eras, bro. Like, if, if, they, if they're voting for people to play right now against the Dream Team, why would you vote Allen Iverson when he's not in the league and playing anymore? Like, I don't get that. Like, that's not a diss to Allen Iverson. Like, if this vote was in 2001 or something like that, yeah, Allen Iverson would definitely be on the team. You know what I'm saying? But come on, G. have to defeat him. Well, good luck with that. Maybe we should let the fanlings vote. Players and fans, maybe more so fans, You, we tend to continue to, like, hold on to players, like, that played in the past, for example, they just said Allen Iverson, so I'm using my example. Allen Iverson was MVP of the league. He carried the Sixers to a finals. Um, Bill Simmons said that the league got him there because, you know, uh, in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Bucks, they was calling like crazy fouls. I don't know. I didn't, I, I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Either way, he made it to the finals with the, basically a defensive team around him. You know what I'm saying? And now, People were like, excuse me, totally forgot what I was talking about. It's 2 a.m. No. Okay, listen, we experimented with letting the fanlings vote for the final roster spots. Let's just say Kevin it was Hart. a mistake. Well, who did they pick? Yeah. yeah. yeah I don't <sighs> know. Taco Fall. Oh. Damn it. Why was my second vote about, second guess about to be Flight Reacts? I'm so silly. Roster spots. Let's just say it was a mistake. Well, who did they pick? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Taco Fall. Damn it. Oh, t- I jumped over the biggest nigga in the building. Hey, shout out Aaron Gordon. That was a banger. Hey, you still my little goat. And while we all agree we love Taco, we can also all agree we do not want Taco defending the realm against the Dream Team. So you're just going to disrespect Taco like that? Wow. It's not even disrespect. A little fact. You don't want Taco Fall, who ain't even reached his prime or ain't reached that level yet to go up against the Dream Team? That's not a diss. Everything's not a diss or a praise. It's some it's just facts. Like, it's a fact. Like, he, if I'm Taco Fall, and they'll be like, yeah, we're not going to pick you to go up against Dream Team. I'll be like, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Taco, do you want to go against the Dream Team? Uh, not particularly. Right, thank you. You may sit down. I am sitting down. I'm weak. Listen, <laughs> this is not just any battle. If we lose, our fanlings will desert us. Our economy will screech to a halt. So who would y'all pick? Get Who would y'all pick? Dream Team. I wouldn't pick 12 whole guys. I mean, yeah, you pick 12 guys, but who is your five? Who would be your six with a six man? Who would be your six to go up against the Dream Team? Well, I guess it depends on who the six Dream Team players. I don't know. 
and our society, which is solely based on interest in basketball, will crumble around us. Before you know it, we will be on the verge of extinction, like the ice peoples of Arkenia. So, here are the official media deals. Was that a diss to hockey? Arkenia? I don't know. Elections for the Knights of the Round Ball. King James. Of course, we knew that was going to happen. Uh, Wardell Stephen Curry II. Facts. Sir Anthony Davis. Okay. Sir James Harden. Sir Kuhai Leonard. Sir Jason Tatum. Sir Rudy Gobert. Sir Luca Doncic. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did they have Rudy Gobert touch Donovan Mitchell's face because of COVID-19? Bro, I'm about to be so sick, bro. I'm surprised they picked Jason Tatum and James Harden. Sir. Actually, I'm not surprised they picked James Harden. James Harden's a great player. Like, he get a lot of hate for, like, the way he play, the way they play, or his lack of defense, which, you know, who really does play defense in the league other than Kawhi on some nights? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at this. Look at COVID-19 joke. Rudy Gobert. Sir Luke. <laughs> Don Cheech, Sir Dame Lillard, and Damn. Sir Joel Embiid. And replacements for the injured Kevin of Durant and the vanquished Giannis Atentacumpo will be Nikola Jokic. Hey, yeah. How's Nuggets? We did it. And finally, at point guard, the undersized and often controversial, but incredibly savvy. So Chris Paul, are you kidding me? Chris Paul, are you kidding me? You should be serious. I'm an artist. I know, I know. Many of you are. Bro, Bill Simmons is funny, but he does not mess with Kyrie, bro. This is so funny that they put the camera on him, yo. Unhappy and feeling a sense of snobbery. Ridiculous. But we must move on. So where is this uh, big battle supposed to take place? I say we draw. Honestly, I would have took Chris Paul over Kyrie. I don't feel, I feel like that's a bad pick at all. Them into the mountains, the Denver Highlands. Denver? I think we should all fight for the purple and gold. I mean, what better place for such a grand super house? I could never wear those colors. We should fight for Houston. No house better represents the modern game. The cutting edge of battle strategy. No, there's no way that I'm doing that. We're not going <laughs> to any of those places. The location of the battle has already been chosen. Vegas. It will take place at a house that everyone can agree on. A place where we can minimize collateral because the fanlings are sparse and already stuck in the past. Hold on, they're gonna play in New York. A house with a history of defense, but most importantly, a place whose market viability I'm interested in testing. Tonight, Seattle? we ride for Seattle. Shout out Seattle. Is that it? They got the clip at the end. Yo, shout out to Seattle, man. Seattle Sonics, man. They need to be back in the league ASAP Rocky. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this episode was actually comedy, bro. I actually... I was weak. I was weak off this episode, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. You have a problem with the, who they pick? I don't have a problem with who they pick. They picked a good squad. I mean, KD's injured. Supposedly, Giannis got knocked out. That's, the team's fine. The team's fine, bro. Is it going to be the dream team? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, comment down below. What you think? Who who would be the five you would pick? The Who would be the five I would pick? Ooh. Ooh. I would pick. Okay, the five I would pick. I would pick LeBron, of course. I would pick KD, but he's injured. I would pick Giannis, but he's out or whatever. I don't know. So I'll pick L. LeBron. I'll pick Steph. I'll pick AD. I'll pick Kawhi. Oh, man. Now it's a decision. Do you go a guard? Do I go with a guard? Or do I go with another big? Because I don't know how the Dream Team is going to play. Right now, I got Steph, Kawhi, LeBron, and AD. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with another big. I'm going to go with the Joker. I don't know. 
don't know. I don't know if the Joker's going to bring that intensity in that game, though. I'm going to go with the Joker, man. Let's just, I'm going to go with the Joker, man. That's my five. Yeah, that's my five. If KD was, if KD was available, I'd have picked KD. For sure. Anyway, that's in the video, man. Make sure y'all comment down below me, y'all. Y'all's top five. Smash that like button, man. Smash it. Like, pop, 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 pop. And uh, hit that subscribe button, bro. Because, uh, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing else to do. We in quarantine. <laughs> Peace.